Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is for grade 7 students at the Innovators International Academy. It is part of Unit 1 magazines and it is going to be about the word classes. Now, what do we mean by word classes? The word classes are the part of speech. Now, the part of speech that we know are the like the nouns, the verbs, the adjectives, and the adverbs. The nouns are the asma, the verbs, the afal, adjectives, asifat, and the adverbs and dhuruf. So, dhuruf al makan or al zaman. Now, what are the nouns? Let's make a quick revision of the parts of speech of words or the word classes. Now, the nouns are the words that indicate people, things, or names of countries. For asma, هي كلمات تدل indicate بمعنى يدل على أشخاص أشياء أو أسماء البلدان. Like when we say man, chair, or Jordan. Now we have the verbs, and the verbs are words that indicate actions or what we do. أشياء كلمة بتدل على أشياء نقوم بفعلها. Like when we say run, play, and read. The adjectives or asifat are words that are used to describe or to give more information about nouns. فمن استخدم الصفات لحتى نوصف الأسماء أو لحتى نعطي معلومات إضافية عنها. Like when we say the man is tall, and here we give more information about the man that he is tall, or a wooden chair. And we have the adverbs, which are words that are used to describe the verb. فبالوقت اللي كانت الصفة بتوصف فيه الاسم الأدverb أو الظرف نستخدمه لحتى نوصف الفعل. Like in the example, she runs fast. هنا عندي fast بتوصف لي الطريقة اللي تم فيها الفعل run. She runs fast. فما إنها وصفة الفعل كانت عندي adverb. Let's start with your student book, page 11, and I want you, Saba, to open the book with me and to write the meaning of the words, the answers, and the notes. So let's start with exercise number one. Read these words from the article. Article, here we mean the pro, uh, portrait project, by Will Jones and Patsy Parker. Then read all the questions and write the answers. Now we have some words. Let me read them and uh, tell you the meanings of them. And you have to write them down. Now we have a present or a present. In the previous video, the video سابق سابق, we said that a present has two different or more than uh, one meaning. And they depend on the pronunciation. إلها أكثر من معنى وبنعتمد على المعنى بطريقة اللفظ. في حالة كانت عندي بتنقرأ ك present فرح يكون معناها gift أو هدية وفي حالة كانت تنقرأ present فرح تكون في عندي معناها uh, to show أو يعرض ف present تختلف عن present طيب now the next word is session session بمعنى جلسة اللي هو a period of time in which an activity is done وقت معين بتم في عمل نشاط معين أو إنجاز نشاط معين. We have get on بمعنى ينسجم to like being with somebody or something. We have technology and volunteer. Volunteer بمعنى متطوع أو يتطوع بحسب إذا كان عندي الورد كلاس noun أو verb. We have include بمعنى يتضمن and we have portrait بمعنى صورة سواء هاي صورة كانت drawing أو painting أو photograph So let's start answering the questions Number one, which words are used as nouns? أي من الكلمات هنا بستخدمها كاسم And here we have the answer Session is a noun Technology is a noun Volunteer بمعنى متطوع is a noun and portrait is a noun. Number two, which words are used as verbs? أفعال. Okay, we have present بمعنى يعرض. 
we have get on ينسجم and volunteer بمعنى يتطوع و include number three which word is used as both a noun and a verb كلمة ممكن نستخدمها بحالتين بحالة النون الاسم وبحالة الverb الفعل and here we have volunteer when it is noun بتكون معناها متطوع and if volunteer is a verb بيكون معناها يتطوع okay number four which word is used as a verb in the report يعني كانت استخدمناها كفعل بالنص اللي قرأناه but is a noun when it is pronounced differently بيختلف لفظها فبتغير معناها and we said that it is present or present now when it is present بتكون بمعنى gift أو هدية فبتكون noun وفي حالة لفظت كه present بتكون بمعنى to show أو يعرض فبتكون verb let's move to the workbook page 6 now again we have some words and we want to match them with their definitions مع تعريفاتهم so let's start with saying the meanings of the words. We have volunteer. Again, we said that volunteer can be a noun or a verb. And its meaning is يتطوع أو متطوع. We have a present or present. Present بمعنى هدية, a gift. And a present بمعنى يعرض, to show. We have portrait بمعنى صورة. Session بمعنى جلسة Includes يتضمن Decide يقرر And get on بمعنى ينسجم So let's start with number one A drawn or painted picture of a person And here we have the word picture as a keyword And picture means portrait Number two a person who offers to do something without payment. Payment سابع معناها دفع. So he works or he does something but without payment. بدون دفع أو بدون أجر. And here it is the meaning of volunteer متطوع. Number three. A period of time in which an activity is done. فترة من الزمن. Period of time. يتم فيها إنجاز نشاط معين The activity is done And it is the meaning of session Number four To think about something and then choose what to do تفكير بشيء معين بعد هيك نختار شيء من اللي إحنا بنفكر فيه And it is the meaning of decide يقرر To choose what to do Means to decide what to do Number five, we have to show, يعرض, and here it is present as a verb. Number six, to put something with other things, and it is the meaning of include. And finally, to enjoy being with somebody, which is the meaning of get on. So that was our lesson for today. I hope it was clear for you. If you have any questions, Sabah, I'm here for you. Thank you for watching.